Hi, my name is Buddy Price and today I'm going to show you how to tie a Guadalupe Green. The Guadalupe Green is a very simple fly to tie. It's good for catching trout, bass, brim, uh, you name it, just about anything. I've caught a 30 inch grass carp on it, 5 pound bass. Uh, you can tie it in various sizes. This is the fly we're talking about. This is the Guadalupe Green. This fly is, is very easy to tie. It was taught to me by a gentleman by the name of Bill Hugel, an excellent fly tire out of the East Texas uh, Piney Woods area. It consists of uh, basically four items. Olive green marabou, your hook, some bead chain for your eye, and a hackle collar of some sort. I use a hen saddle. Um, you can use partridge, any um, other types of feathers that you can use for a collar, but just a very simple collar. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to tie the uh, Guadalupe Green. The hook we use is a Mustad 9672. It's a 3XL streamer hook. What we're going to do, we're going to start out tying the bead chain onto the, um, for the eyes. This uses a bead chain eye. Start the thread up near the eye. Wrapping down just a little bit. Just gets it started good. Then we make a little bump about right there and then we come back forward and make a little bump right there. All that's going to do is just kind of help hold the bead chain eye in. We use a figure eight pattern to hold the bead chain eyes in. Kind of check your position as you go along. Build up a pretty good. Make sure everything's tight. You don't want a lot of slippage afterwards. Once you get to that point, sometimes what I'll do is I'll add just a little drop of super glue. When all said and done, that'll uh, kind of help hold everything in place. Just kind of kind of helps hold it all into place real well. At that point, you can take your thread, wind it on down to the rear. just above just where the bend starts you can kind of see right there where the barb is about where the bend starts. When making this fly you want to kind of pick your marabou. There's different styles of marabou that you can get. Some of it is uh, real bushy kind of like this. You can see it's got a uh, it's very very bushy and uh, stems fairly limber. This would work fine. You want to just kind of see how it's going to lay when you put it in, you can have a little sparser. Here I've got one that's a little bit sparser. It's going to make a little bit of a uh, narrow, kind of a flat tail in the back when you tie it in. You can kind of see there what kind of tail is going to look like and, uh, and so forth. So there's a lot of different kinds of marabou. I'm going to tie this one a little on the sparse side and uh, with just a little bit of a tail. Uh, some people prefer to have the tails a little more bushy. So what we're going to do is make kind of get it flat, even. We're going to tie that in, see what the length looks like. I like my tail just a little long. Not too long though. Once you're really comfortable with what you have, tighten down real good. At that point, I bring my thread to just behind the eyes. This is tied a lot like a leech. We got some stray fibers there. I'm going to kind of pull them. Well, I'm going to kind of do this. What you're doing now is you're taking and you're twisting the marabou to make a body. I'm going to untwist that a little bit. We got some stray, stray fibers here. I'm going to pull those guys off and I'm going to wrap that again. What you're doing, you're trying to make a little body little fur body. At that point you can start to wrap 
your body, which is just the marabou, nothing special. When you get right behind the eyes, tie it off. Go ahead and bring your thread in front, bring it over, do one wrap up in front. That kind of gets you a, a little bit of a fur wrap there. And you're at that point, you're done with the marabou. So you can go ahead and trim off all the excess marabou. This is why you want to leave a little bit of room in front of that bead chain. And I'm still going to have to clean that up just a little bit. Now at that point, I want to go back behind the eye again. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to put in, that tail looks real nice, we're going to put in a, just a part of a soft tackle. I'm using just a dyed green hen saddle soft tackle. Here you can see what that looks like. I'm going to strip that back. Get all the, the fuzzy stuff off. And get it. And I use, uh, some people like to uh, kind of divide this up. I use all the hackle on both sides. This feather's got a little damage to it, but that's no matter because with what we're going to do. Now one of the things you want to make sure is that the, the feathers are going backwards towards that direction on the fly. A couple of ways of doing that. One way is to tie it in, cup shape, facing out front so the, the the curvature kind of going up, tied in like that. The other way, which is the way I prefer, is to tie it cups down like that. So that's how you're going to see me tie it in. The other thing you're going to see me do is I'm going to trim some of that excess feather off and I'm going to tie that in. One of the things you want to do here is don't put Try to put too much hackle on your fly. This is just a little collar that you're trying to put on there just to give help, just to give it a sense of motion. That's plenty right there. You're going to kind of pull back on those feathers. You want everything kind of sloping back. All that's designed to do is sort of simulate legs, gills, that sort of thing. Again, like I said, this is not a fancy fly. This is a uh, this is a working fly. We're going to bring the thread back to the front. At this point, we're just going to tie a little nice little nose on this guy. Kind of cleans that up. We'll throw on a uh, whip finish. Just for security. These flies can get beat up pretty good, particularly when you're fishing for bass and bluegill with them. They'll, they'll tear them up pretty good. Apply just a little bit of head cement there on the on your thread just to kind of seal everything real good. And that is a Guadalupe Green.